Hi guys, it's Mina. Please ignore the square if you see it. Anyway, um, today in this video I'm going to do my top 10 catchiest theme songs from TV shows. Now, fun fact, most of these, sh a lot of these shows I didn't really watch, watch very much. I only just, well actually most of these shows I didn't really watch, but um, I only just, I didn't really watch it. I basically just watched them for the theme song. I never really got into the shows. So, um, I'm gonna get started, and the, uh, started, and this is all my opinion, if you guys don't like any of these theme songs, then that is totally fine, fine, I just personally like, think they're kind of catchy, so I'm gonna get started. So, number one on my list ought to be Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, fun fact, I don't know why, but, um, this may seem kind of not make sense at all, but when I, I never really watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as a kid, but... I have the movie, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, sorry, and um, I had costumes of it that were made by my aunt, and um, but I don't remember ever watching the show, but I remember the theme song being so catchy, catchy. So I don't really know if um, I actually liked the show or not, not because I may have seen it probably once. I think I've only seen it once in my life. Life. Even though I do like the movie Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I just never really watched, think, I didn't even remember watching the show. Number two on my list, it had to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, well actually, I, the, I, okay, let me start over. So, um, number one on my list is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and the reason I like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is because the electric guitar and the lyrics were pretty cool. Well, they did a good job putting the lyrics together nicely. Thing which I like is that's what I look for in a song is how lyrics go together. Yeah, they're in a um, little tune. In a um, song. Number two on my list would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think I've seen that show probably like once in my life, but I never saw it all the way through, so I don't even know if the show's any good. Does anybody know? I only remember, I only listened to the theme song on YouTube. It is pretty catchy because of the rock guitar and the, and the um, songs and the lyrics. They're pretty cool. Cool. I don't even remember watching the show at all. I don't, I think I may have seen part of the show once, once, but um, because it looks a little familiar, but um, I just didn't really get into it. I only just listened to the theme song. Number three on my list would have to be Ducktales. Now, um, Ducktales has like one of the most catchiest theme songs. I think I may have seen the show probably like once, but I don't remember ever watching it. It very much. I think I saw it once in my grandparents' house when I was visiting them out of um, out of my my area. But um, just the song. I remember just listening, watching the song theme song, and then the show was. And then I turned the TV off, or I switched to another channel. I don't remember. I watched it probably like once or twice a long time ago as a kid, and then I never watched it after that. But I have listened to the theme song a couple of times. It is pretty catchy because of the. Um, little guitar or whatever, and whatever instruments are played in that thing, and the song the lyrics are put together nicely. Number four would have to be Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Now, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers is one show that I think I've seen like only once, but I never really got into it. And um, I watched it like once on um. Oh yeah, by the way, um, Ducktales I watched um once on YouTube a couple times on YouTube, but I don't know why I didn't really think the show was that good. Good anyway. Um, for Chip and Dale, I thought their theme song was pretty catchy. Like the lyrics were fit together well, and the song was nice, and the little um, instruments that were used in the song were nice. Nice, and I think I may have seen that show probably once or twice, but I never really got into it. Number um, five on my list would be Zoe 101. Now, Zoe 101 is one of my favorite TV shows. I love the opening theme song. It's really good. Jamie Lynn Spears singing the opening theme song. It was so amazing. She's got really good pipes. Pipes, and I really liked, um, and I really like Zoe 101, so this is practically probably like... That and Scooby-Doo are like the only shows I really got into watching. Watching and um, 
I like the show, I like the song, especially I love when they play it at the end, and Jamie Lynn Spears is really good pipes. Number six on my list would have to be Josie and the Pussycats. Now, Josie and the Pussycats, I've probably seen like three or four times, but I never really got into it. I don't know why. Um, why? I usually like, um, like those kind of old 60s cartoons, but I don't know why I never really watched um, Josie and the Pussycats. I may have seen the show like once or twice, but um, I don't remember. Remember, it was years ago. Number seven on my list have to be Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Now, I love the show Scooby-Doo. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, what I like about the theme song of Scooby-Doo is the singing, and it's got good lyrics, and it goes together. It goes well with the show nicely. Nicely, and it talk, explains like um, like what they're up to and what they're going to solve and stuff. Number eight on my list would have to be Thundercats. Now, Thundercats, I do not remember watching at all. Or may, maybe I've seen it probably like once in my life. I don't remember. I used to watch Cartoon Network a lot when I was a kid. But, um, I don't know. I never really got that much into Thundercats. I didn't really, um... Not that I didn't like the show. It's just the song. No, I mainly probably just watched it for the theme song because the theme song was so catchy. Catchy, but I don't even remember what the show is even like because I haven't seen it in forever. Number nine on my list. I put Marty Morphin in Power Rangers twice, but I'm going to change that anyway. Number nine on my list would have to be probably Alvin and the Chipmunks theme song. I love the squeaky voices singing. Um, they have really good pipes, even though their voices are a tad bit annoying, high-pitched and squeaky. kind of reminds me of when I was a little girl. Girl, when I used to talk in a squeaky high voice, which is really embarrassing. Anyway, um, um, I like the theme song. I like how the lyrics were put together. And I like the, um, the beat that was used in the theme song. It was pretty good. Number 10 on my list would have to be Inspector Gadget. Yeah, I don't know why, but I never really liked the show Inspector Gadget. The character wasn't that good. The show was okay. I just didn't really get into the show very much. I think I've seen the episode probably... I seen, What's funny is I watched the episode probably like three, four, or five times in my life as a kid, but... I just didn't think it was that good, good, um, good. But the theme song is really catchy. Catchy, I have to admit, with the lyrics put together, the, um, horn or whatever they use in the, um, show, the song. I don't know. It was a pretty good, good theme song. Okay, so those are my top ten catchiest songs from TV shows. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.